Yeah, I know. Clickbait title. Get over it. Just kidding. Not really. I mean, it's not misleading. This is exactly the topic I'm talking about in the video. People honestly don't know the definition of the word clickbait. An incredibly clueless minority of people have been leaving lots of comments on my last couple videos complaining about a couple cards in standard. So naturally, because I stand behind my opinions, unlike some people, and I'd like to, you know, support my opinions with logic and evidence, you know, like a reasonable person, uh, I have to clear some stuff up. Hey Des, why is it that every single set you complain that standard is going to be broken? Sincerely, a bunch of stupid people. Well, stupid people, I predicted that KLD might have some really, really broken crap in it that I really didn't care for, especially Aetherworks Marvel. Wait a minute now, I distinctly remember Wizards saying, oh no, standard is basically unplayable right now. Okay, that's paraphrasing. We're going to have to, for the first time in five years, ban not one, not two, but three cards in standard. And most of the ones that I was complaining about were the ones they took out. Even some of the ones from Eldritch Moon that I said were going to be in problem decks, I mean, they ended up actually just barely not banning Spell Queller. They said it was down to those two, and they banned Reflector Mage, and I was complaining about Spell Queller. I actually do think that they made the right decision, so they, you know, I wasn't wrong, the deck was broken. Blue-white control was broken, okay, sorry, it was. So, one for one, I was 100% correct. Standard devolved into an unplayable pile of garbage and wizards had to step in and fix it with a ban that, that hasn't happened in, like I said, five years. So, 100% accurate so far. Then Aether Revolt, I said, oh my god, some of this is going to be just unplayable garbage, I cannot tolerate the level of crap that they've put in this set they've pushed the power level so damn high there's just going to be a handful of decks that dominate fast forward a couple weeks 100 percent correct wizards this time around did not ban anything probably because amon ken is just as broken and they think that well instead of two broken decks we'll just have five five decks that you literally cannot play against unless you're playing one of the other four that'll be fun for everybody at fnm that won't drive away the casuals which by the way are 95 plus percent of their customer base whoopsies Ooh, slipped up a little bit there didn't you all they care about is the variety of decks at the pro level so 20 million players casual 3,000 or less players at like a pro tour. So they're catering to the pro tour. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me, Wizards? You are so stupid. I don't give a crap what the variety of the decks are at the pro tour, except for the extent of the fact that a bunch of net deckers are going to bring it to FNM. I mean, if there's, if there's literally just one deck dominating, guess what? They're probably going to build it and bring it. Okay, so that does affect me slightly. But what the vast majority of people care about and Wizards is just oblivious of is how annoying are the decks to play against? Or on the flip side, how fun is it to play Magic with these decks being legal and popular? A lot of casual players who are not pro wannabes don't really care that much if they win all the time. I mean, they're gonna, it's gonna get to them eventually if they just go 0 and 4, 0 and 5, you know, whatever at every FNM, okay? Even I wouldn't be able to tolerate that. But for the most part, it's like as long as they go there and have fun and occasionally win some prizes, great. That's what they're, they're playing Magic for fun. They're not just playing to have the best possible record, or they would probably net deck the top tournament decks. I mean, hello. So since the vast majority of their players and customers are casual and they just want to have fun, make sure that the top decks aren't completely not fun to play against. Let's go through it. Losing on turn four, not very fun, okay? Losing to an infinite combo, not very fun. I mean, slightly amusing the first time and then not fun at all. Losing on turn 30 to red, white, blue control draw with no Sahili is just stupid, okay? Playing against Dynavolt and having every single creature you bring out all game get blown up instantly, that is not fun. You don't even get to play Magic at that point. You just get to sit there and shuffle and then waste your time. So I was 100% correct about Aether Revolt being broken on playable garbage because it is right now. The only difference is this time around, Wizards didn't do anything about it. So two for two, 100% accurate, batting a thousand. So now I'm saying, oh, look at this completely, utterly broken crap from Amon Ket. Now just take, take a step back for a second. Let's not even consider the fact that I've been 100% correct since they dropped KLD. The number one thing that I do in the magic world is build decks nonstop for personal use and for my YouTube channel. That is what I do the most of. I'm not a lore specialist. I'm not a rules specialist. I'm a deck building specialist. If I see a card and I know what's already in standard, 
and nothing cycling out of standard. And I say, this will be broken. I just have a feeling, or this will be broken literally with this, 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 and this card. I'm probably correct. Now let's step back into the situation. I've been 100% correct for the last two sets. What the hell makes you think that anything's going to be different about Amon Ket? Now there's one more thing I have to address. Des, you sound so whiny and bitchy in the last couple videos. That's because I'm pissed off. Have you not caught on to that yet? And Des, why do you even play the game if, if you hate it so much? I honestly can't believe people are this stupid. I, I think about 75% of the people leaving those comments are trolls. I know that 100% of them are now banned from commenting on my channel. If any activity or company or thing that exists in the world is pretty good, pretty close to perfect, pretty fun, pretty enjoyable, and then something comes in and ruins it, what do people do? Oh, I love it so much I'm not going to say anything bad about it. Hell no, you just ruined something I like. I'm going to bitch about it until the cows come home. But Daz, all you do is complain about wizards and their decisions in the game. Well, person who clearly still doesn't get it, that's because they keep making stupid decisions and ruining the game. That is provably true. For example, listen to the first half of this video if you want some proof. You may have noticed that when Wizards does something right or positive or makes a staff change or makes a change to this or that or says they're going to make a movie or says they're going to move into VR or say that they're lowering the price on something or say that they're opening up a set to non-WPN members or, you know, actually gives us information or fires somebody, that is a positive move in the right direction and I report on it and I make a positive video. When they do something stupid that's damaging to the game, detrimental, like not banning anything from the last ban cycle, that was one of the worst mistakes I've ever seen in my life, plus design errors like Felidar Sovereign, or not Felidar Sovereign, that card's fine, um, Felidar Guardian and Sahili, and then they admit that they made a mistake but still refuse to ban the card, I'm gonna make a really negative video about it because they just negatively affected the game for about six weeks. I mean, it's like saying CNN is too negative all the time. They report news. They report things that happened. That's all I do, except that I add a little bit more emotion than a newscaster. Well, some of them. Depends which show you watch, actually. I'm actually quite a bit calmer than some of them. Dude, Nancy Grace, I think she's going to have a stroke live on TV at some point. The only thing holding her head together is that enormous hairdo. Like, for real. I am, like, 38% of the way to, like, Bill O'Reilly will do it live, okay? I'm pretty calm, but I like magic. I like playing magic. I like when magic's not broken. So when Wizards does something stupid, you know, like insult Jeremy or appoint an idiot to one of their positions or fail to fire Aaron Forsyth or print a broken card like Spuggler's Copter, I'm going to make a video about it and I'm not going to pretend to be happy about it. That's what makes me different than other YouTubers. If you want nothing but fake positivity and ignoring the problems... Go to a different channel. There's plenty of them out there. If you want the real crap, the actual news and actual opinions and actual emotions instead of a bunch of fake crap that just sounds nice because it makes you feel special and happy to watch it, okay. And honestly, I'm making a little much of that. Some people legitimately don't want to hear negativity. They don't watch the news because they don't want to hear about this robbery and that bombing and this attack and that political decision. They avoid it because they don't want negativity. They just, they can't deal with it mentally. They're just like weak people. Well, for people who like living in the real world and can accept real life and are an adult, welcome to the Desolator Magic channel. You just found the correct place. So if you still disagree, Here's the point that I have to make over any other point, okay? People have pointed this out, too, because a lot of people in my comment section reply with very good corrections to dumb comments like this. Repeat after me. I, insert name here, do not have to, and am not forced to, watch Desolator Magic's channel. I can watch other things. I am well aware, or am about to be, that I can go to one of Desolator Magic's videos in the subscription feed or the homepage, wait for the three little gray dots to appear in the top right, click on them, and then hit, I'm not interested. That will prevent me from seeing Desolator Magic's videos. Also, there's this wonderful thing called the unsubscribe button. I don't know if you've found it yet. I cannot make that any clearer. There is nothing forcing you to watch this channel. Apparently, there is something forcing you to leave stupid, arrogant, pointless, clueless comments down in the comment section. I don't know how to stop that. Well, I do. I just mute all of you and ban all of you. But unfortunately, 
and honestly, this really should be a feature. I can't stop people from watching my videos. I wish I could ban somebody from even seeing my content. Actually, when Google Plus was integrated, I think you could do that. It was really complicated, but you could do it. So hopefully that clears it right up, and I really hope I lose a lot of subs for this video because there are certain people I just do not want watching my channel. I, they just don't belong here. I'm sick of reading their crappy comments, and they clearly don't like most of my videos, and they, they want to live in a fantasy world where everything's, you know, rainbows and unicorns. Whatever, that's your choice. Have fun being completely misinformed from biased news, and I use that term loosely, about Wizards of the Coast and what they're doing. And kudos to you who are adult enough to deal with it and actually enjoy my content. I mean, hopefully now you get it. You understand why I make the videos, why they are on the topics they are, why they're the tone they are. Hopefully it all came together for you. If it didn't, I can't help you at this point. See you guys next video. Unless you're a terrible person, then I hope you leave.